What's going on, GTA Familia? It's your dude, Very High, and Scriptic V has finally updated today, May 28th, 2022. In this video, we're gonna be installing the new Scriptic V. I'm also gonna show you how to update your files if you've already downgraded. And after that, we're gonna get a brand new game config installed so your game doesn't crash when you load it. You're also gonna want Open4 to install the brand new game config. But we don't want your game to crash, so we're gonna get all this sorted out today. And by the way, guys, if you don't have any idea how to mod GTA 5, check out my GTA 5 Modding Essentials video on my main homepage. We have the 2022 and 2021 edition. Each one's different, gonna give you a little bit of different type of flavor. Let's download script took v you're also going to need some kind of compression software like uh seven zip seven zip is going to let you open up uh archives you might want to get win rar w-i-n-r-a-r is another thing to open up zip files and of course good old win zip does the same exact thing get one of those three file uh compression openers whatever and you're going to be able to access this archive so now that we've downloaded it <clears throat> It's going to look a little something like this. Uh, the script took V download is going to have a bin folder, a readme, and a link to the website. Just click on that bin folder. And I'm going to show you how to get to your main GTA 5 directory for Epic Games. Let's go ahead and click File Explorer. And we're going to look for our C drive, Program Files, Epic Games. Okay, so right here on this GTA 5 folder, let's open that up. And now we're in our main directory for Epic Games. Over here, since I've already got a trainer installed, I'm gonna neglect the native trainer. I'm gonna select script.v.dll and d input 8 and simply drag them over to my main GTA 5 directory like so. Bam. Okay, now you've got script.v installed. Let's go ahead and update your game if you have already downgraded. So for Epic Games, again, I'm just gonna open it up, go to my library tab here. I'm gonna look for Grand Theft Auto on this list. And once you do that, there's three dots. Let's click those three dots and you can verify your files. So the files that you may have not updated or have downgraded, you know, those will simply be replaced with the brand new latest version of GTA 5 files. Once your game's verified, it's at least gonna be a gigabyte. So, you know, take your time. Once that's done, now what we wanna do is we want to get an updated game config. So this is for version 2612, the very update that we need, if you're updating that is. Okay guys, once you have this game config file downloaded, it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look like something gameconfig.xml. Don't worry, the next step, we have to open up Open4. So once you launch Open4, this is how we're going to now replace our game config. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Please refer to my GTA 5 modding essential tutorial videos for 2021 and 2022 to get you up to speed to modify GTA V. Now that I have open four loaded, I'm going to click on edit mode, say yes, and then I'm going to click on my mods folder like so. We'll click on update, update.rpf, and then we would simply look for common data and in here you have a game config file Let's just hit g there it is there's our game config so there's two ways we could do this we could simply drag the game config into open four like this as long as edit mode is enabled or you could right click your game config file and go to replace and locate it wherever it is saved on your computer and that's all it takes and what the game config is going to do is stop your game from crashing when you load it because as this says a modified game config is required to most for most add-on mods including add-on vehicles peds props and weapons also guys if you're going to be using a new game config for the first time make sure you have pack and heap limit adjuster download it as well i do cover that in my 2022 gta 5 installation guide so guys if you have the spare time please donate to alexander blade whatever way you can we got to protect this man at all costs even in the midst of a war zone in ukraine he managed to pull through and deliver to us a brand new script hook and all i have to say is i'm grateful and thankful thanks for watching until the next time stay safe stay dangerous subscribe